A new book looks to help answer questions about COVID-19 variants. It's called Variants, the Shape-Shifting Challenge of COVID-19. It's written by infectious disease expert Dr. William Hazelton, the president and chair of Access Health International. Doctor joins us now. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. So speaking of variants, talk about the fact that um, people are getting more scared now just when they think things are easing up. And then we hear this study about a, you know, a group of Marines where a tenth of them, a 10% getting the variants and, and the virus infection again. Talk about how that happens and what we should be afraid of. Well, we understand that viruses can change. Uh, we know that happens with the influenza every year. We're now learning that there are some remarkable similarities between how COVID behaves and how influenza behaves. That is, the moment it encounters immune resistance, somebody who's already infected, there are variants that can counter that. They can become more transmissible, they can evade the immune response, and they can even become more dangerous. There's a number of variants now circulating. We didn't see them before because there was no resistance to the virus. Now we're seeing them. We talked about the WHO at the top of this segment, trying to find the source of this. So you know, maybe we can minimize this from happening again uh, in, in the future. Regarding these wet markets in China, do we have, does the international community have the ability to change the landscape of, of that activity? The international community doesn't, but certainly China is taking pretty strong steps to eliminate the wet markets. But that's not where it seems to have come from. It seems as if it was, uh, came from a natural infection somewhere probably in the south of China. And the wet market was a super spreader event, not mm. the origin. Mm. So that's a really big change in our thinking. That is very similar to what's been, what happened with SARS mm. and uh, MERS, which came from a camel uh, into the Middle East. So that these are viruses that have hosts in natural species that are surrounding us, and then they get into us. By the way, flu does the same thing. Most people might not realize it, but a major reservoir for new flu in epidemics is uh, pigs and chickens. So that this virus is looking again more and more as we study it, more and more like the flu. We already knew that viruses like this that cause colds come back every year like the flu. We didn't quite understand why. Now we do because we're looking more carefully. We see the variants that are appearing. Variants are serious in the sense that if you think you've been are protected because you've been infected, you think you're protected because you've been vaccinated, maybe you aren't. Mm. That's what's scary. People are rushing to get this vaccine. Is there a chance this will come back again and we're going to see this every year? Well, there's a good chance that will happen, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't get your vaccine. Gotcha. The vaccines for flu give you some protection against the new variant that comes in. They can moderate the disease. So first of all, there's a lot of different types of variants now circulating. The vaccines will work against the major ones in the U.S. today. So get your vaccine as soon as you can, but don't rely on that. Stay safe. All, all right. right. Thank you so much. The book is called Variants, the Shape-Shifting Challenge of COVID-19. It will be published as a living ebook February 15th and updated as more research continues to come in. Doctor, thanks so much for being with us. You're welcome. Thank you very much.